All right, this video is about the uh, Pace Setter long tube headers I put on my uh, C10. It's a 1969 step side, short bed. Put a LQ9 in here a while back with L92 heads. It's got a comp cam, LS3 intake, kind of a crappy air filter. Anyways, I had some really ne restrictive one and a half inch primary shorty headers on here that I got to fit from an S10 made by Sanderson. Anyways, it seemed like I was really restricting it. Um, I haven't really gotten any good track times from it. <laughs> just didn't seem like it was performing like it did. So I found these Pace Setter uh, Trailblazer SS long tube headers because I'd heard on 67 to 72 trucks that the uh, Kooks ones uh, for a Trailblazer SS would fit. So I thought then that I'd try the Pace Setter ones out. I also saw some guy, other guy that bought these but hadn't test fit them yet. So I figured I'd give it a chance and see if they fit. <laughs> sure enough, they do, but they're pretty dang tight. Um, that gives you an idea. The frame clearance on the passenger side fits real good. Um, right down here, my engine mount is kind of notched out from my other headers. I made, I got a uh, kind of a U-bin thing and I modified that in there a while ago. Um, it hasn't been structurally compromised in any way, but it is modified just slightly. But I think with a stock one, you could make it fit too. Um, the driver's side is another story. It's real tight. You can see here the primary tube is really, um, for this number one cylinder, is really close to the frame right here, but it has clearance. And on the uh, engine mount plate or whatever you want to call it, um, it goes to the frame. It's real tight there, too. I think if you notched that out a little bit, it'd give you a little more clearance, but you can't slip it up in there. And down by the frame rail, way down there, I had to cut away just a little bit of the frame rail, probably about a quarter inch, half inch, something like that, kind of varying in location places. Um, the saw is all probably about six inches in, six inches in length for the uh, collector to fit. I think the reason to for that was because the collector has swept over to clear the uh, Trailblazer's front drive shaft. Anyways, I'll show you underneath here. Okay, there you can see the uh, Headers don't really hang down too low. They're actually pretty they sick. They are sucked up under pretty good. It's got slip fit connectors, which aren't the best. I'm going to switch those out to some ball and sockets. The side also fits pretty good. Um, main concern is right along here, this frame rail. You can see that the header really sweeps over towards the driver side frame rail. So I had to cut the frame rail out just probably about a half an inch. I just used a sawzall and a combination of my grinder. I just kind of notched it out so I'd have some decent clearance. Let me see here. Yeah, there you can see the clearance on that. There's my coil relocation. It's underneath the engine mounts. The plug wires running up underneath. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, Here's the exhaust system I built. Um, it's actually the Trailblazer SS crossover pipe kit <laughs> I bought off Amazon.com, but I completely modified it and used the mantle bins. So it comes up over the transmission cross member, back around, and goes into this single three inch. Anyways, that's pretty much it. So that's what your Trailblazer SS pace setter headers look like on a 69C10 with a 6 liter in it.